How's it going guys? Shizukats here. Today we'll be going over the second arena champion, the Lightning Dancer, Glossom. Glossom is a unique character in a similar vein as Tigilen, being a unit that specializes in the opposite damage type of his class. As a physically inclined dancer, Glossom is not only capable of dealing much higher than normal fan damage, but is also able to buff up your team with multiple physical based buffs. Glossom is voiced by Atsushi Abe. Some of his main roles include Toma Kamijo in the Index and Railgun series, Kokorotsu in Degashikashi, and Moritaka in Bakuman. If you're a card gamer like me, you might recognize him as the voice of Ren Suzugamori from Cardfight Vanguard. Stat-wise, Glossom is much stronger with physical attack than his fellow 5-star dancers, with a max attack stat of 325 compared to their 230 to 250. Appropriately, this does mean that he suffers a bit in the magic department, but his magic stat still remains very respectable at 352. Taking into account his unique accessory from being an arena champion, he gains an additional 150 attack and 50 crit, bringing him up to a massive 475. While this gives him a huge leg up even compared to the strongest physical units in the game such as Fior, the fact that he has to equip fans means he won't be getting much help from his weapon's attack stat quite yet. His kit has some very strong attacking options, including multi-hit skills on both the physical and magical sides. For fan multis, he has a 3-hit fan random target unlocked by default, later upgrading to a 4-hit fan random target that also has a small chance to inflict 20% defense down for 2 turns per hit. For lightning, he has a 3-hit lightning random target. All of these skills are fantastic multi-hit options when facing a single enemy, but ironically are some of the lesser used skills in his kit. More often than not, you'll actually tend to see the next two fan skills used the most. Two-hit fan single target is a consistent multi-hit option into both solo enemies and groups of enemies, and with a high potency at 2x120, it also doubles as a fantastic nuking option compared to the random target skills mentioned before, as their potency is relatively much lower. His one-hit fan AoE inflicts two turns of 15% defense down on all enemies, making it one of the rare skills that can debuff multiple enemies at a time. When combined with debuffs from other units like Primrose or Viola, you have an easy way to cap defense down. Glossom has a couple other attacking options in his kit as well. His 1-hit fan nuke has a high potency, but is less flexible than his 2-hit fan, which can double as both multi-hit and a nuke. Finally, he has 1-hit lightning AoE, which can sometimes come in handy if you're in need of a lightning attacker. Glossom's buffs are the other highlight of his kit. He has a 20% attack and defense buff, and a 15% attack and defense buff. Ordinarily, you might just think that one is a straight upgrade to the other, and you wouldn't use the weaker one anymore, but in actuality, using both of these skills together is very powerful. You can use both of them to stack up to the 30% cap in both physical attack and defense, all on just a single unit, which can be extremely useful in fights where you want to deal as much physical damage as possible, or protect yourself from high amounts of incoming physical damage. Taking a look at Glossom's passives, one is much more useful than the other, his 1-star passive gives him 20% speed up while in red HP. Not something you'll see very often, especially when you account for his second passive. His 3-star passive gives him free regen at the end of every turn, which is great. Free HP is always welcome, and I would rather be alive than be 20% faster. Glossom will typically be seen in one of three roles. Physical DPS, Utility Buffer and Debuffer, and Lightning Caster. The last of which is basically if you don't have any better Lightning units to use. In this case, just bring both lightning skills, and the third skill is a flex slot. For a physical DPS roll, his two-hit fan is his bread and butter skill, both as a multi-hit option and for nuking enemies that are in break. The other two skills can vary depending on what else you need in your team comp. If you want to max defense down, bring his one-hit AoE with defense down debuff. If you want to maximize your team's attack, bring his 20% buff. If both of these needs can be fulfilled by other members of your team, for example, if you have Fior Viola for capping defense down, drop the skill you don't need for the 4-hit fan random target for increased multi-hitting. Glossom can also be played as a pure utility unit, usually for fights that are heavily physical based, but aren't weak to fans. In this case, you'd usually just bring his 1-hit AoE with defense down, and both of his physical team buffs to stack them together and reach the 30% cap. While fans aren't a good weapon type for physical attacking, being the second lowest physical attack weapon among the 8 types, there will eventually be fans introduced into the game that can get extremely high physical attack. This will allow Glossom to reach his maximum potential as a deadly attacker, 
similar to how magic-based warriors like Tikilen and Eliza will eventually get their swords with very high magic stats and become even stronger as a result. In the meantime, his 150 physical attack accessory still does a good enough job of making him a relevant attacker, and he'll also be a fantastic physical utility unit that will see a lot of play moving forward. And that wraps up my Glossom overview. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you're having trouble taking on Glossom in the arena, be sure to check out my Glossom guides that I've posted previously on the channel to figure out what are the best units and strategies to take on the fight. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And until next time, this has been Shizukatz. See ya!